What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for the super quick video and today we'll be talking about 10 myths on NBA 2K23 that you should not believe. Just want to make a quick disclaimer that I'm not talking down to whoever believe in these following things. For me, it is understandable to have these misconceptions because the game is not consistent. And there could be lots of these misconceptions that are lurking around. So if ever I missed something, please let me know in the comment section down below so others can see. And who knows, maybe I can make another list. So now let's get right into it. So first on the list, acceleration helps on defense. And that is not true. I tested this one all throughout the years, that it only concerns your first couple of steps when you have the ball. It doesn't do anything off ball. Next one, killer combos can make you explode faster. And that is not true. Killer combos badge will only make you chain dribbles much easier. It is not connected to your actual dribbling speed. There's a lot of details surrounding this one, so if you want to know more about it, just watch this video here on the channel. Everything will be there. Next one, Menace Badge gives you more cutoff animations as a defender. And that is not true. The only reason why Menace activates after a cutoff is because the ball handler got close to you after the cutoff. And that activates Menace. It doesn't boost the actual cutoff itself. And here you can see that if the defender runs away after the cutoff, it won't activate the badge. Proving that the only reason why it activated on the other one is because the ball handler and the defender were close to each other after the cutoff. Next one, Vice Grip badge is equal to your Glue Hands badge. That is not true. Vice Grip is a totally different badge. Vice Grip concerns the ball security, while Glue Hands badge concerns the quality of the catch and how fast you can transition to the next move. Just an additional proof to make my case stronger, and here you can see that if the defender is nowhere near you, badge won't activate, which makes sense because there's no threat for steals. And in here you can see if there's an opponent nearby, badge will activate because that's the time that it should do its purpose, and that is to protect you from steals after securing the ball. Next one, skill boost gives you plus one attribute or whatever value. That is not true, there's a lot of variables that a game is calculating under the hood we can't see. So I think that's where the boost will go, because based on my test, it's not adding directly to your attributes. So for example, you are one point short to unlock a new animation on your dribbling, don't expect that putting one skill boost will make up with that missing one point on your ball handles. And by the way, these things that are on the list are not just hearsays that I heard from somewhere that I decided to put into the list. All of these were tested on my videos. So before we proceed, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And if you're new here, I'm Chutes and I do lots of detailed testings on stuff like badges, attributes, jump shots, dribbling styles, and lots of other stuff. And I'm doing YouTube full time, so expect a lot of videos. Last year, I made like around 400 videos. So make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out. Trust me, I got you covered for the whole year. So now going back for the next one, Workhorse boosts normal rebounding. Yeah, technically it does because if the ball hits the ground first, that still counts as a rebound. But lots of players think that it helps on the actual rebound, when you know you get the ball mid-air. That is not true because it only covers rebounds when the ball hits the ground first. Next one, tendencies affect user-controlled players. That is not true as well, it only affects players that are controlled by the AI. I already run a test on this one, and if you want to know more about it, just watch this video here on the channel. Next one, catch and shoot badge speeds up your shot. That is not true as well, it only concerns the actual make percentage. It won't touch any other thing. Next one, speed with ball is useful. Technically, it can be useful, like it can unlock badges and SIGs, and there might be some rare occasions that it may be useful for your build, but for the most part, I'm talking about 95% of the time, aside from unlocking SIGs and badges, it is not useful at all. Based on my test, it will only kick in after like 4 steps from your launch. And this gap here is a 74 point speed with ball rating difference already. And for you to feel that gap, you have to run straight this long first, which we all know doesn't happen much on how 2k is being played. And again, if you want to learn more about it, just watch this video here on the channel. Next one, Gatorade Boost doesn't work. That is not true, it actually works. I tested all the types and they all worked according to their definition. It might not be mind-blowing effects, but they work. So that's all for the video. Again, if you know more myths, please let me know in the comment section. I know you have something in there. Just leave it in the comment section for others to see. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. 
And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming, guys. Peace.